reggaeton was supposed to be this thing that was gonna like end by the 2000s and look where we're at now. Hey, I'm Villano Antillano and this is When I Heard It First. I was a very big Hector El Father fan growing up. Very, very big. So um, I had a lot of fun with, with his career and his music while it was, you know, active. I would have to say that some of my favorites were Paola, Ahora Que, that was like, Growing up in Puerto Rico, you have to remember, like, reggaeton is, was heavily criminalized and politicized in Puerto Rico. Like, the police would, like, do raids and, like, confiscate, like, records. It was very, very intense. And it was also, like, a, a class, like, war. And it was a war on, on poor people and black, low-income people because this is, like, who started the genre and the movement. So. It's funny now how it's like, you know, a, a genre that has like been adopted by the entire world and is now cool, but in the beginning it wasn't so. And a lot of our parents try to like steer us away from it. Eventually we won the war. That generation who was making reggaeton then and like our generation who was taking it further and the generation that is coming who like, God knows where they're gonna take it. But I feel like we won that, definitely. Like, reggaeton was supposed to be this thing that was gonna like end by the 2000s. Like, the year 2000 was like the expiration date. It was not gonna go further than that. And look where we're at now. I'm a pretty loyal, like, listener. Old school reggaeton, instrumentally, was built a way that was very, 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 like, driven and, like, exhilarating in, in the instruments that they used and in, like, the percussion. So like I feel like it's perfect for me. Like at the gym, I listen to a lot of old school reggaeton. It motivates me. It's versatility. It became the vessel for like a lot of like pop culture today. And that's like a very that's a very big thing to say. When you listen to the right musicians and the right artists, a lot of these people aren't really lying and like making up things. These are things that we live here in PR and it's like literally a reflection of who we are as a society and what we go through. I don't need to play my music for these artists because these artists know who I am without me having to do that. People connect with my music and I've made a, a movement of my own. So, but I do have to say that most of them support me and like, for instance, like the big role models, the ones that I would care about, have like given me their blessing and like showed me a lot of love. Evie Queen, for instance, is someone that I consider a role model and a pillar and a be queen. I'm in definite good standing with her and she's like an icon to the community. You know, I feel like if I had that blessing, that's really all I care about. <laughs>